drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. Within this short and to the point video guide we will look at how to easily test if your hydrometer is anywhere near being accurate. Two very easy tests will be shown that you can do at home in just a few minutes. I will also cover what we should expect in terms of accuracy from a hydrometer. So let's get started. Firstly let's talk about realistic expectations. Hydrometers these days are much improved due to improvements in manufacturing and materials as well as how they are calibrated. So as such these can be much more accurate than you would imagine for something sold so cheaply. Though I would suggest buying one with a reliable brand rather than cheaping it out fully considering the small difference in price. On this basis you will usually find that they are suitable for wine as well as beer which is a nice bonus. A very important thing to note when taking readings with your hydrometer is that most hydrometers are usually calibrated at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, so temperature certainly plays an important role in the accuracy of your reading too. Most quality homebrewing hydrometers are calibrated to be accurate within plus or minus 0.002 specific gravity points. That's about two points either way, which in beer terms is nothing major and certainly nothing to be concerned about whatsoever. To put it in perspective, if your beer is meant to finish at 1.012 and your hydrometer is reading 1.014, you'd probably never taste the difference. For most homebrewers, this tiny margin is completely acceptable. If you wish, you can of course keep this in mind for future readings too. It is also important to realise that homebrewing isn't lab science at home. It's more about consistency than perfection. If you always use the same hydrometer and the same method, you'd still be able to track the fermentation's progress. The absolute number is less important than the change from start to finish. Alright, let's now move on to the testing. The simplest way is with distilled water at the calibration temperature printed on your hydrometer, which is usually 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit, as I mentioned earlier. I usually pick up my distilled water at a local car supply store at the best price, but if you have the ability to distill your own water, then look at that, because that will work out even cheaper. All you need to do here is pour some distilled water into your hydrometer's trial jar and then insert the hydrometer and spill it gently to shake off any bubbles. I normally wait for some minutes before taking the reading or when all bubbles are not visible as these will skew the reading. Read your hydrometer scale at eye level and it will read exactly 1.000 for 100% accuracy. However, as discussed earlier, if it's off by a point or two do not panic, just make a note and mentally adjust your readings in the future. The second method choice is to test with a known sugar solution. For example, dissolve 25 grams of table sugar into 200 milliliters of water. This is the equivalent of 0.88 ounces of sugar and 6.76 fluid ounces of water in imperial measurements. This will give you a sugar solution with a known SG of around 1.046 at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You can then take a reading. If your hydrometer is within plus minus 0.002 of that, then it's working just fine. However, if your hydrometer is out by more than 0.005, it's worth either replacing it or always adjusting your readings. Just to remember to be consistent. That's the real key to brewing accuracy. Some brewers prefer this type of test because it simply tests the hydrometer within gravity levels that are more relevant to beer. I believe that both methods have their place personally. Two tests are also better than one in fact. So there you have it. Cheap, quick and easy ways to check your hydrometer's accuracy at home. Keep brewing, keep learning and don't get hung up on chasing perfection. It's all about making the beer that you love. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!